And I thought it was really interesting because you touched on the most common piece of advice, which I see given, which is be yourself. And I've never really liked that advice. One, I say, well, you need to know yourself before you can be yourself, number one. And number two, it's like what you said. Well, there's so many different versions of yourself. There's the way you're mm -hmm. in pageant versus the way in front of your friends versus the way you are with your partner versus the way whenever. So when you say be yourself, it's like, well, which version am I going to be? The silly one, the intellectual one? <laughs> so can you just give me your opinion on that? age old advice of just be yourself because I feel it has a place but I feel it's also brought out a bit too much yeah because like you said that means so many different things for an individual even with my individual friends I wouldn't act or say certain things to yeah. one that I would to another like you just know with different people with different situations it calls for different parts of your personality I would say I have a very serious part of my personality I've always been told that I'm an old soul but I also have, you know, my gaming side, my more teen and bubbly side. So when I'm doing a teen pageant, of course, I'm going to draw from the bubbly side. Whereas if I'm in a situation that calls for a more serious attitude, that's going to take a backseat. It's good advice as long as you elaborate on it, because it's not going to be the same for everyone. Everyone has different versions of themselves, different parts of their personality that would be really yeah. strong in one situation, whereas really weak or distracting in another. And it's just all about being appropriate in the in the right situation. You wouldn't yeah. be depressed at someone's wedding and you wouldn't be super happy at someone's funeral. funeral. <laughs> like there's times and places for all the amazing parts of your personality. And just being able to navigate that, in my opinion, shows a sign of emotional maturity, which I think is very mm -hmm. important when you are in the position of being, you know, a leader, a role model or a mentor. I think that's something mm -hmm. that is a great quality in someone.